Hey, how's it going? Today, we're gonna do a trick shot I haven't done in probably four or five years, and that's behind the back arrow split. Behind the back. And I'm gonna try to step it up and do it a little bit farther. And then I'll walk through kind of my arrow setup and why I use the arrows and how why I shoot the way I shoot at these aerial targets and kind of my setup to retrieve my arrows. That's how you do it. When you put them together like that and they're lined up, that's just about center. So I use the $2 arrows so I can break them, save some money by not shooting my good arrows. And it prevents you from any injury. Not every time you hit the arrow, it breaks. Sometimes you just dang it or whatever and you forget about it and you go to shoot it, that arrow might explode in your hands coming out of the bow. So I definitely recommend getting these little $2 arrows or having a certain type of arrow, spray paint them or something to see that you are not shooting the ones you already hit. And definitely, if you are shooting the ones you're gonna hit, definitely do a flex test. And I mean a real flex test, because anything can happen. I'm gonna show you how I shoot my arrows and how I retrieve my arrows. First off, this is a flu flu. It's got big feathers, so it causes more resistance. Good at close ranges. I don't really like to use that at farther ranges. So I'll show you one shot real quick. And it just kind of, it goes up, slows down, falls down, sticks to the ground. But the key is to shoot up an angle. You don't want to shoot eye level or your arrow will get buried. Next, this is just your regular three fletched arrow. Um, I like to use these on the farther shots just because they fly a little bit straighter. Um, sometimes the Fulfu arrows, they do not fly that good at farther distances. And it's the same thing. It'll go, fall, stick in the ground. For this, I'm using the Hoyt Satori. Got the carbon bayless limbs. Love the limbs, love the riser. This is 21 inch riser. These are 50 pound limbs. At my draw, it's around 57 pounds, give or take, however much I draw. With the behind the back, I'm probably drawing less. Um, but it's not the best behind the back bow. <laughs> it's just a little heavy, causes a little fatigue. I like to shoot a little bit lighter, but it's hunting season, so I'm getting used to this bow. This time I like to use around 45 pounds, 47 pounds. That's my ideal weight. A little bit lighter, causes me to have a little bit sloppier release, but sometimes it's better for other shots. So I like to have three different limbs for certain shots and switch around and so on and so forth. This is the arrow I shot to the platform at 60 yards. So this is the next one. This is 70 yards, but this is a double fletch flu flu. And these are basically how it looks like. So this is the reason I shoot up in an angle. So it can fall like this, they're easy to spot from a distance. Stuff like this, very easy to find. Especially when I'm shooting aerial targets. What do you think, Ozzy? So right now I got 220. So as long as you got a big open field like this, very easy to retrieve your arrows. I try to retrieve all my arrows. And it helps to have a sharp point so it sticks in the ground better. So every shot, I don't go pick up my arrows. A lot of times, whenever I get done with the day, I don't have that much time today to do several different trick shots, but I try to do it all in the same direction. At the end of the session, I guess, you can go and pick up all your arrows and it'll go in a big group, kind of like a big, you know, 20 yard group, but they're all really visible, really easy to pick up. And I try to shoot in kind of a cut field. You know, that's the way I retrieve all my arrows. That's my system. I've been using this for such a long time now. It's just, it comes second nature. Usually I set up my trick shot according to how I'm gonna retrieve my arrows. So let me know if you have any questions and if you, you know, haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.